Okay, now it's time for us to get ready to start building our robot. Before we do that, we want to make sure that we've got all of the pieces that are going to be required. So you might want to grab some sort of tray or some sort of box lid that you can lay out all of these parts in so you don't lose them. Uh, let's start making sure that you have everything that you need. The first thing that you're going to need that's in your that's in your bag is going to be this yellow motor. So make sure that you've got the motor and lay that over there. Second thing that you want to make sure that you have is going to be the black battery pack. This is a AAA size battery pack, and that is going to need to have two AAA batteries. Now, there are no batteries in the kit, but you need to provide those. So if you don't have those now, go ahead and get those before you go any further. So let's lay those right there. The next thing that we're going to look for in our kit is the tongue depressor. That is going to be the body, so it's like a popsicle stick or a tongue depressor. So lay that out. Beyond that, I want you to look for a square block. There is a square wood block in there that has holes on it. Make sure that we notice where those holes are because that's going to be important when we start putting this together. The next thing I want you to look for are five, or I'm sorry, four black rings. Those are the tires that will then go on four black wheel of uh, four white wheels. So go ahead and pause to make sure that you've got all this. The next thing I want you to look for, these are the smallest items in the kit, and those are two orange collars. They're very small. Make sure that you do not lose those, but you want to lay those two orange collars out. And then I want you to start looking for, you've got a zip tie. Let's put the zip tie in here and make sure that we've got that. The next thing I want you to look for is a long straight piece of metal, which is a straight axle. We're going to use that. So lay out that straight axle. When you've got the straight axle, then there are two of the Z axles. These are shaped like a Z. So let's find two Z axles and lay them in the kit. Then let's find our big uh, light tube. So find the light tube and you can lay that up there. We're going to come back to that here in just a moment. Oop, that's out of the picture. So let's put it there. Then I want you to find the pipe cleaner. You've got one pipe cleaner and we're going to use that. There are two styrofoam balls. Make sure that you've got two styrofoam balls and lay them there. And then there are two googly eyes. Now these have peel and stick on the back, so we're gonna pull those off when we get ready to put the eyes of the robot in place. Now there's five other small pieces of tape, and these are different sizes, and it's important that we use the right size tape, so make sure that when we get to the uh, instructions that we're using the right size tape. So we've got two longer pieces of tape. We have one square piece of tape. And then we have two smaller rectangular pieces of tape. These are all double-sided, so let's make sure that we don't pull the tape off before we need to. Those are all the parts that you need. If you need to pause the video, uh, go ahead and pause it, and then we'll get started putting this together. Okay, here's step one. I need for you to go ahead and pick these three items out of your uh, pile of, of items. The first one is the wood block. The second one is the popsicle stick or the tongue depressor. And then you need the double-sided square piece of tape. So make sure that you get those three items. And what we're going to do is we are going to attach the square block to the back side of the body. And we need to make sure that the hole is away from the popsicle stick. Okay, so when we tape this, make sure that the hole is away from the popsicle stick. So take your double-sided piece of tape. You can peel off one side here, and you're going to put this on the top away from the hole. And make sure that you smash that down. Then we're going to peel that other double-sided tape off. And again, making sure that the hole is away from the popsicle stick, we are going to put it all the way back. And we're going to make it stick like that. And so that should be what your body starts to look like. 
Okay, here's the second step. And for the second step, I need for you to grab the battery pack and the two batteries. Now on the battery pack, you will notice that there is an on off switch. Before we put the batteries on, make sure that you turn the battery switch to off. Once you've done that, you can slide the battery pack open and go ahead and put your batteries in. Make sure that you're putting them in the right direction. And once you've got those in, you can put the you can put the cover back on and you can hold that and that's ready to go so make sure that you've done that okay here's step number three step number three you need the battery pack which we now have the batteries in we need our body and we need one of the longer double-sided pieces of tape what we're going to do is we're going to take that double-sided piece of tape and we are going to peel one side off and we are going to stick it to the bottom side of the battery pack that's going to be on the side away from the on and off switch so go ahead and peel that off and attach that and so you've got that piece sitting there once you've got that we are going to attach it to the body we're going to attach it this direction the wires are facing away from the wood block we're going to leave about a small eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch gap. And then we're going to pull the double sided tape off of the battery pack now. And we are going to stick it where you now have the battery pack stuck to the body as well. Go ahead and do that. Okay, for step number four, what we need to get out of our supplies is two of the white wheels, two of the black tires, the long straight axle, and then the two small orange collars. Make sure that you've got those. And what you need to do is you need to take one of those orange collars and the straight axle, and you need to put the collar onto the axle and you need to slide it about a third of the way in. So you should have one collar on. Then what you need to do is you need to take one of the wheels, one of the tires, and you need to stretch the tires over the wheel. So you now have tires on the wheel. And once you've done that, you can put the axle into the wheel on the side where the collar is at. And this may be a little tight, so you can push it down on a hard piece. And now you've got this. You've got one wheel, you've got the collar. Once you've done that, let's set that aside. Let's go ahead and put the other tire on the wheel. Now with that done, you can lay it there and let's pick up the axle and we are going to put the axle into the hole that is on the bottom of that wood block. And so now you've got the collar that's stopping it from sliding. You've got the wheel and you've got the axle. Then we're gonna take the other orange collar and we're going to put it on and we're gonna slide it all the way up to the block. And then we're going to put the other wheel on and we're going to push it till it's secured. Again, if you need to, there you go. Whoops, I knocked the wheel. So now you have, and you can slide these to center them if you need to. We now have the rear axle on the body. All right, that's what it looks like. Now, as we move on to step number five, I need you to grab the yellow motor. I need you to grab the larger piece, the longer double-sided tape. And we're now going to work on attaching it to the body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we have the motor in the right direction. This is very important. So we need to identify this little knob. This is gonna be facing forward. But we also need to make sure that the copper or, or bronze connections that are right here, 
that they are going to be on the driver's side. So when we have this and we tape it in a few moments, make sure that it's facing this way with the brass prongs available there. Once you have identified that, we are going to put the red wire and attach it to the bottom prong. And you're going to do so by just bringing the wire through and just making sure that you've got a good connection. Then you're going to have the black wire attached to the top prong. Do it from the back. And so you will start making sure that you got the red wire to the bottom one. We're just going to go through the prong and then we're going to twist it and just have a good connection there. So once we have the wires connected, they're just going to be loosely connected. We're then going to take one side of the double-sided tape off. And we are going to put it on top of the motor where it's going to attach to the body. So we have that. Once you've got that, to make sure that the wires stay out of the ways of the axles here in just a second, we're going to wrap this around. And then making sure that the wires are the right direction, we're just going to pull that double-sided tape off, and we're going to attach it there. So go ahead and pull that double-sided tape off now. Make sure our connections are still there. Make sure the wire is out of the way. And then we are going to put it where it is attached to the body. And so now, make sure those wires are attached. That's what we're looking like. On the driver's side is where the red and then the black at the top. Now to test to see if we're good before we go on, you can go ahead and switch the battery pack on. And you will notice that we now have a good connection. Okay, for our next step, which I believe is step number six, I need you to grab two, the last two white tires and the last two wheels and the two Z axles. So we have these. I want you to go ahead and put the, the tires on the wheels by stretching them over. Put those on. Put the second ones on. I want you to take one of the Z axles and you're going to put it in the center hole of one of the tires and you're going to push it on. And then we are going to take it and put it into the side of the motor. One of those, uh, one of the white spots is where you're going to connect it and you're going to just push it as much as you can. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other side. Go ahead and put the middle hole. Push it, doesn't have to go through. And you they when you put it in, it doesn't have to be just as the other side. But now we have. All right. Okay, for our next step, I need you to get your light tube. I need you to get the two remaining pieces of double sided tape. And I need you to get your zip tie. Now, I want you to look at your, your light tube, and you will notice that one end has a little black button. It also has a little tab that you need to pull out. And so we're going to test to see if this light tube is working. So you can now push this button, and you'll notice that the light tube works. Push it again, push it again, and then it's off. So leave it off. What we're going to do now is we're going to attach the light tube to the top of the body. Now what you need to do is to take one of those pieces of the smaller double-sided tape and pull off one side and put it right here at the front up by the motor. Go ahead and take one side of the last piece of the double-sided tape and put it here at the back. Make sure not to take both sides of the tape off yet so that should not be sticky. Now we are going to, if you want to, to put this on, we're going to make sure that the black power button 
is going to be at the front. Go ahead and stretch out your light tube. Go ahead and take off the second side of the double-sided tape on the front. And making sure that our black button to turn the power on is at the front, we're going to attach that by pushing that onto the double-sided sticky tape. So we now have just a little bit of a, a sticky holding that on. Then I want you to, we're gonna tie this on with the zip tie, and so we're gonna wrap it around the motor. We're gonna have that zip tie, and we're gonna zip tie that, making sure that you don't get the wheels caught. And we're gonna zip tie this to the body so that it stays on. That tape will not hold it on, so we're just using it temporarily. And we're gonna pull that tight. Pull that as tight as you can, and then we're going to cut off the excess. Okay, now we're going to put the last bit of the glow worm together, and that's going to be the eyes and the antenna. So we've got the two styrofoam balls. We've got the two googly eyes, which have a self-adhesive that will pull off, and then we've got the pipe cleaner. So take the pipe cleaner, and you can put it wherever you want to, but you're just going to run it underneath. Uh, and you're going to oh, it's stuck on the, you're going to bring that around and you're going to twist that nice and tight so it, it won't slide and you can just twist it right there making sure that it's even length twist that a couple of times and now that's nice and tight then you can take one of the uh, one of the styrofoam balls and holding the pipe cleaner at the tip you can poke that into the styrofoam ball just a little bit and do the same thing on the other side. Just poke it in there. And if you want to bend those around, if you want to make them shorter, if you want, and then we've got the googly eyes. We're going to take our fingernails and we're going to pull that sticky off the back. And we're going to attach it to the styrofoam balls, if I can get it. We're gonna attach one googly eye here. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now with everything completed, you can go ahead and turn your strobes or your flashing lights on. Then underneath, you can turn your battery pack on, and you should have a robot that you're going to have fun with for hours and hours, inside and out.